I think this is 100% fair, 200% real. First one that we're looking at here is Adele, or whatever her name is. I don't really know exactly what her name is. She is the butler. She is your uh, waitress, your uh, your servant in your, in your stronghold. Now, in my opinion, I think this is a solid A tier waifu because she's already doing all of the she's already cleaning shit up for you she's already in the maid outfit she's already doing everything that you would hope that she would be able to do right this is a very very clear and obvious a tier uh a tier character and i would say even a low s tier in my opinion i think is a low s tier high a tier waifu yeah, she cleans, she does whatever you want. Like whenever you, you go back to the stronghold, she's like, oh, I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting for you. You know, it, it's just a perfect type of uh, of fantasy, guys. So yeah, I would definitely say that she's a uh, uh, she she's an A tier or S tier. And it could I could move her up to S tier depending on what we have in the future, okay? Annabelle. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I think this is like a B or a C, okay? And the reason for that is this. The main reason why Annabelle is so low is the fact that she reminds me of girls that have really low self-esteem and they constantly need attention for validation. And to be honest, like I'm out there killing guardians, I'm out there running chaos dungeons, I'm out there doing work, okay? I don't have time for this shit. I don't have time to deal with this stuff. So we're gonna give her, um, you know, probably, I'm gonna say like a C. Somewhere around there. I'd say somewhere around the C. Does that seem fair for you guys? She's innocent. Yeah, it's a C tier waifu. Not that great. Yeah, one of the worst ones. Exactly. Okay, Azina. Now, let me... I, I want to give you my argument for why Azina is the... Is an actual S tier waifu. Okay? This, this is an actual S tier waifu, and I want to explain why. Here we go. This is this is my this is my argument for why she is an S tier waifu. Lawrence, what would you do if you had a million dollars? I'll tell you what I'd do, man. Two chicks at the same time, man. <laughs> That's it? You had a million dollars, you you'd do two chicks at the same time? Damn straight. I always wanted to do that, man. And I think if I were a millionaire, I could hook that up, too, because chicks dig dudes with money. Well, not all chicks. Well, the type of chicks that double up on a dude like me do. Good point. So, um, Azina is obviously an S-tier waifu for that reason. She has literal two care. She is two, two in one. You get, yeah, Inanna and Azina at the same time. This is such an obvious S-tier waifu. I don't even know how anybody could disagree with this even for a second, okay? Based in real, yeah, it's just so obvious. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it, okay, guys? Yeah, it's a very good point, exactly. All right, let's go to the next one. Image and new tab, Beatrice. Now, in my opinion, so this is the girl at the very beginning of the game. Uh, she's the one in Trixian that you deliver all the arcs to. Uh, she's very hot. I, I think that Beatrice is a... I think that she is a low tier A tier waifu. Like, I, I think this is a low A tier. Like, not high, not something like super crazy, like really, really good or anything like that. Uh, I just think it's somewhere around there. You know, like maybe A tier. I don't think that she's an S tier plus. I don't. Because, listen, there are S tier plus characters and she's just not one of them. Okay, like, it, it, it's all in context, okay? A lot of them are really hot, let's be honest. But, like, it's about, uh, it, it's about putting it into perspective, okay? She's an angel? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. She's hot but very basic? Yeah, I, I think, yeah, she's, again, like an A-tier character. Like, low A-tier, maybe a B-tier character. It's kind of hard to say. Yeah, this is the only context she helps you? Yeah, she does help you. You're right about that. That's good. Okay, next one. Now... I think that, you know, like everybody pretty much knows where I stand on this, uh, uh, wh where I stand on this situation, right? I, I think that, uh, I think Black Fang is probably I at least in the top three, if not the hottest character in the game. Like, am I, am I wrong for this? Like, I feel like it's just, it's so fucking obvious. Like, it reminds me of Kate Beckinsale from Underworld and like, 
I mean, that, that's all we really need to say, right? I mean, like, that's, I mean, case, like, case closed. Like, that's it? Yeah. So we're going to go with that 100 fucking percent. So we're going to put, uh, we're going to put her as an S tier. Uh, whether she's above her or not, I don't, I'm going to put Black Fang above her, but I feel like a lot of the S tier rankings are kind of just theoretical, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're kind of theoretical. Okay, we need a pirate class in game? Yeah, maybe. All right, let's look at the next one. The next one. Brel Shaza. I think that... Yeah, that's her name in Korea. Um, I think that she is an A tier. Like, this is the way I look at her. It's like she's almost like Ashara. And remember, we rated Ashara whenever we did the WoW waifu characters. We rated Ashara an S tier for sure. And I'm kind of feeling the same way about Brelshaza. I am, but I don't think she's as hot as Ashara because she doesn't have any tentacles. Uh, there's just not really the same sense of personality there. I, I think that she is probably a very, very high A tier. Maybe like a, like, I'd say like mid-level A tier. Like, what do you guys think? So, like, we have people saying B and S. So, like, the S's are the simps, and the B tiers are the alpha males, right? Because they're not about this woman's bullshit. They're just about living their own life, and they don't want to deal with her. And the S tier ones are like, wow, she's so hot. I want her to step on me, right? So, like, th this is a very, very conflicted decision, guys. This is an extremely conflicted decision. I understand it a lot. I think that we should put her right about here. I think this is what's fair. I think this is what's real. What do you guys think about this? Does this seem fair to you or not? Because I think this is very fair. Yes, this is a completely fair rating. Is she above Beatrice? Yeah, she is. She's 100% above Beatrice. Beatrice is so fucking boring, man. Like, she's so fucking boring, of course she's above her. It's not even a question. Obviously. All right, let's go to the next one. Ellen. So she is the queen of Vern. In my opinion, I think this is one of the most boring characters in the game. I, I do. I think she is a, a relatively boring character. I've had to do her rapport quest line. And apparently you can romance her. I'm not really sure about that. I'm going to have to research that farther. But um, I think that she is just probably somewhere around like a C. I think she is a C-tier waifu. Yeah, she's the queen. Yeah, that's kind of nice, but I, I don't really know, man. The poor is so boring. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I'm going to give her a C-tier. I don't think she's that great at all. All right? You see the Korean top uh, official top 100 waifu list? No, I have not seen that. I might look at it afterwards, but this one is more accurate. Azurbeck. Now... There are a couple of reasons I would say that this is actually a, um, I would say, I think this is a B tier waifu. Because again, in Lost Ark, you have so many hot characters that you have to put them in context of like the other characters that are even hotter than they are. You see what I'm saying? So like, I think that in the ranking, in the context of Lost Ark compared to like, uh, like, fucking uh black fang or vicus yeah i think she's a i think she's a b i i yeah i think she's just an easy fucking b what do you guys think that seems fair yeah it's between a and b dude yeah i think that's totally fucking fair totally fucking fine okay guys yeah b all right good i'm glad all right the next one now this is one of the girls from the uh, uh i think oh this is is this from punica i'm pretty sure it is she is pretty hot. I I just I feel like this is always like a side character. Like really, who gives a fuck about this girl? It doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna get super excited about it. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, hot but boring. Yeah, we're gonna give her a D. This is not that good of a waifu. Let's go to the next one. Now, Krissa. I think she was the one that was simping for Father Armin in Lutera, if I remember right. I could be wrong about that. It could be another one. Now, this is, in my opinion, 
I think this is an S tier. This is an S tier character. Saria? That was a Saria? Okay, all right. Then we'll just go with A tier. Um, I think that everybody knows why we're ra she's on Twilight Isle. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting about which one is which. Looks like is yeah, it's true. Um, it was pretty interesting. All right, so I would say A tier for this one. What do you guys think? A tier, I think, seems fair. It's authentic, and I think overall, this is an A tier waifu. What do you guys think? I love her charisma. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, she's a nice personality. She has really, both of them are very nice personalities. I totally agree. So we're going to give her A tier, and I'm going to put her right here. Okay? Do you guys think that's fair? Yeah, that, that's definitely fair. Okay, let's go to the next one. Ludia. Now, this is another one of the characters that, in my opinion, doesn't really play a lot of a role on the screen. I don't even really remember who the fuck this is. She's just some random ass girl that they threw into the game. Who gives a fuck about her? She doesn't have six different uh, outfits to wear on the rapport section, so she's probably not really that hot. We're gonna give her, she's a firekeeper. Yeah, well, she's gonna be keeping the D, okay? This is not that great of a character. I would say they're down here by the D. I think it's just a mediocre character. I don't really give a shit about them. It's not that big of a deal, okay? Keeping the D, yeah, it's just not that great. Now let's go to the next one. Nagi. Now this is the girl. She is a doctor. She is in Punica. She's taking care of people regularly. And she's really, really hot. Now, she was the one that I wanted to do the dance with at the end of the, uh, the quest line. And they didn't let me do it. So the reason for that is uh, because everybody would obviously pick her. She is an easy S tier. In my opinion, this is an easy S tier waifu. Is there anybody that disagrees with this? Like, is, is there anybody that even thinks for a question that this is not... Yeah, it, it's just, it's 100%, you know it, I know it, everybody fucking knows it. So, yeah, let's go with that. She looks 12, though? No, she doesn't. Um, let's look at the next one. Nuria. This is Nuria and Arthentine. She's the singer. She's uh, there, and, you know, you talk to her, and she's, like, in front of the stage and all that. I think this Nuria, in my opinion, there are multiple Nurias in the game... Uh, I think this Nuria is the lower quality Nuria. Like, there are there are too many of them, and I would say that every Nuria is an S. No, I, I think this one is a B tier. Like, she's obviously hot. She's talented. She, you know, I mean, that, that's basically all you really have to say. That's about it. But I would give her a B tier. I'd say somewhere around here. Does this seem fair, guys? Your Nuria? Yeah, um, I don't think she's on the list. Let's hope not. Yeah, I'll say, yeah, B tier, maybe C tier. I think B tier is a little bit more fair, personally. But I can see why some people would disagree. Of course they would. So let's look at the other ones here. Next one here is uh, Pride Holmes Naria. Now, um, this character, I am actually getting really, really close to uh, the romance option in the game. Uh, I, I apparently I had a bunch of rapport chests, and if you give her potatoes, uh, if you give her enough potatoes, you get to have sex with her. Uh, I, I, that's the way it works in Lost Ark, guys. I'm not kidding. And so, yeah, yes, S tier, she makes food, she loves cooking, and um, she's not very good at it, apparently, but that doesn't really matter because at least she's trying. So I would say this is clearly, clearly an S tier. Like, this is a clear S tier or A tier. The question is, do we put her right here or do we put her right here? What do you guys think? It's a very hard decision. It's a high A tier. I think she's a high A tier as well. Um, it's hard for me to say she's above the, uh, the, the, the maid girl, but like, hey, you know, we'll go ahead and we'll go with that anyway. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, potato waifu. Exactly. Yeah, she, she's the first waifu that you find. There you go. Next one. Neria, yes, another Neria. I think that we're just going to have a category for all of the Nerias. We're going to put this Neria in B as well because, um, you know, why the fuck not? They're not really that interesting. They're not that unique. Yeah, this is a Neria tier list. It's not that big of a fucking deal. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the next one. So, um, this one actually goes on a tier that's not on the list. It's not the F tier, it's the FBI tier. 
and unfortunately we don't have that on this list so we're just gonna have to put her in the d tier okay nia from the punica village yeah that's gonna go into the d tier we're not doing that no motherfucking shot all right guys that's not what it is you know it i know it everybody knows it it's fucking weird okay she's 600 no she's actually not 600 years old she's actually like probably 15 or something okay so let's just chill out d tier sounds kind of bad you guys know what i mean let's go to the next one nineveh now there are people on my server that have talked about the fact that all of the milk in lost ark comes from nineveh and there has been no one that has disproven this theory and i think that the fact is that it, she is def she is way 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 hotter than beatrice it, it's not even remotely fucking close like nineveh is a thousand times hotter than beatrice i think that she is an easy s tier i don't know i would put her probably right here she's like the like i would say her and black fang are about equal in terms of like hotness category w what do you guys think she's cuter but not hotter yeah black fang is hotter and nineveh is cuter i think that's a good way to say it that's it's cap but i respect it no nah, it, it, it's back and forth man it's really really hard to say the man of culture i've thought about this a lot okay like i you know i'm not going to come into this without you know having properly researched everything lower than azina maybe no, she's definitely not lower than Azina. Nineveh is really fucking hot, and she's going to be ranked higher. Like, that's all there is to it, and I'm not going to listen to anybody who disagrees. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's go to the next one. And what is this? Oh, God. Another useless character, and I believe Rohando. Nobody cares about this character. This is a slash who. Like, who? Who is this? Who cares? Okay? Like, this girl, we're putting her down here in the D tier. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares. It doesn't matter. This is a boring side character that nobody gives a shit about. Let's go to the next one. Rion's Ghost. So, I think this is the one in, uh, uh what was it? Was it, no, not, it was it Annika? I believe it was Annika. So, what do you guys think? Yeah, it was in Annika. Yeah, she was the ghost. So I really, really used to think like emo and scene girls were hot, like and goth girls. Like I, I a hundred. I think it's it, they, they were so hot, right? A hundred fucking percent. Like whenever I was younger, like dude, absolutely. So it's really hard for me to say that like she shouldn't be at least like a B for that. Now, like her being dead is like that's just kind of like like we're not really thinking about that part of it you know like that's just like kind of whatever it's like it's a you know it's a fantasy game it's whatever right so like what is that what does being dead really mean in lost ark i mean who knows so like i would say probably mm, like right here i would say how do you guys feel about this is this fair what do you think this is a a very high b tier like you know like goth mommy waifu like this is that's just a little bit of necrophilia yeah just it's just a little bit right and, and so like yeah i think it's totally fine yeah this is a a high b tier not an a tier though yeah not an a tier at all let's go to the next one this is the one a lot of people are probably you know been waiting for with sasha let's see is there another a picture of her because obviously it's kind of a bad picture uh let's see if i can find one google, google you think you want me to google this in in front of you guys you really want me to do that all right i'll do it uh i feel like this picture is kind of uh like this is like kind of i i mean it's like i mean come on guys like this is like stop yeah this is yeah this is gonna be this is an s tier ranking if we're gonna go with this one yeah, let, let's be honest. Vacation time? Yeah, no, it's okay. I looked it up on a second stream. Or, sorry, on a second monitor. We're okay. Yeah, I feel like... I, I feel like with all that considered... I think that she's S tier below Azina. Uh, I, I would put Sasha as S tier below Azina. How do you guys feel about that? Is that fair? Is that accurate? How do you guys feel? She's been 75% of the report journey talking about her ex. Low tier score for sure. Well, I wasn't listening to what she was saying at all. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I, I, I had no idea. 
So it, it yeah, it wasn't an, it wasn't a problem at all. Uh, above Nineveh? No. Idiot? No idiot. Like that's just wrong. Like absolutely fucking not. What are you, what are you stupid? No. Above Azina? No. Azina's two girls. At the same time, like no. We're not putting Sasha above Azina. Are you stupid? Of course not. This is it's it's not it, uh, this is not an opinion. This is just what makes sense. Parma Ben, that idiot? I know. Are you really going to tell me that we're not going to give her an S tier? Or are you genuinely going to tell me that we're going to rank Sasha above Nineveh? There's no shot, bro. Like, there's no shot. Like, Sasha is really hot. Like, she is. But guaranteed Nineveh is hotter. And it's not even close, man. It's not even fucking close. Yeah, so, yes, we're going... Sasha's hotter. So they're both S tier, okay? But we're going to put Nineveh higher. That's what's fair. Now let's go back. We're gonna go. We're gonna look at the next one. We're gonna move on. Okay, guys. Shanna. Now Shanna thinks everybody hates her, and you know what that means, right? In my opinion, Shanna is. If like it, it, like she reminds me of like those girls that will post like status updates on Facebook, saying like. I wish I had friends and they would post like a it's like a music video of like uh like a, a a dog crying or something like that right like just constantly seeking validation thinking everybody hates them insecure like crazy listening to like these like weird emo bands that you've never even heard of like it's just uh, dude I, I, I don't think so. Everybody hates her. Yeah, like, I don't think she's that bad. And she's, yeah, I'll never find a man. Yeah, it's just not, I would say Sasha is like a, I think she's like right here. I think she is B tier right about here. What do you guys think about that? Everyone did hate her. It's not insecurity. That is true. Yeah, but like, I mean, then she thought, like, I hated her and she constantly needed, like, validation from, like, the player character. Uh, even Asmon hates her. Like, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Where's Yorn near you? Don't worry about that, okay? Um, Shanna's an easy S? God damn, guys. Like, holy fuck. Y'all a bunch of simps. Okay, alright. We're gonna get, we're gonna put her, we'll put Shanna right here. Okay, is that fair? Do you guys feel better about it now? We'll give her an A tier. Because you're right, she did get bullied a lot in high school, and so it kind of makes sense that we wouldn't really want to rate her too low. Uh, yeah, I think this is fair, okay, guys? that That's decent enough. Blow Beatrice? Yeah. Because Nineveh is just... Here's the thing. Nineveh is just a hotter version of Beatrice. That's all there is to it. So, like, why, like, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's obvious. Like, she's just a hotter version of her. Like, that's all there is to it. It's about Beatrice. Yeah, I've thought about this. I, I've already put Nineveh is so basic. No, she's not. Okay, next. Sierra. This is the girl in Pride Home that has the dog next to her. In my opinion, I think this is just a C tier. Like, she, she doesn't even have a house. She's sitting there playing a banjo. It's just boring. Who really gives a fuck about this character? It doesn't matter that much at all. Okay, she does? Yeah, she's insane, isn't she? Um, I think so. Yeah, I think that somebody tried to give her flowers and then she threw them away. So she's also a bitch. We're gonna give her C as well. I think that's fair. Next. This is the girl that you talk to to get into the tournaments. In my opinion, I don't give a fuck about this girl. I think this is just a random character it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, you do flirt with her and she gets worried. That's actually true. Now that I think about it, wait a second. Because like, she does get really worried about you whenever you go into the battle. And she's like, oh, I was so worried about, oh my God, I, I'm so happy you're okay. You know, all this kind of stuff, right? But like, just overall, I, I don't really think it's that crazy. You know, like she's not, yeah, not that much different from a random NPC. Yeah, she is definitely into you the whole time. So because of that, I will put her right here. Actually, I'll put her right here. I think that's a little bit more fair because she's definitely a side character and not that big of an important character. So yeah, I mean, that's that seems fair. She's a clout chaser. 
You know what? You're right. We're going to put her in C tier. Yeah, she is a clout. Bro, she actually is a clout. She's unironically a clout chaser. Yeah, you're totally fucking right. Her personality is pretty good, though. Yeah, that doesn't matter. And, and so, yeah, that's why I'd say, yeah, clout chaser. We're putting her in C tier 100%. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. All right. Next character. So, Night Fox Yoho. Now, in my opinion, I think you guys know. Yeah, I, I think you guys know where I'm going to rank this one, right? I mean, she has cat ears, basically. It's like a fox. A fox is kind of like a... It's like a spicy dog or a spicy cat. You know, it's like in between. So, it, it's like she has cat ears. Um, she has a really great outfit. She has a great personality. In my opinion, I, I think that she is an S-tier character. Like, absolutely 100% S-tier character. Like, I mean, I, I, I definitely, guys, yeah personalities are maxed out and we have a few other characters to look at too okay so this is one of the other characters that we didn't get a chance to look at that wasn't included in this i don't know why this character wasn't included uh but this was the uh one of the main characters that we saw vicus yeah vicus too so with her in my opinion i would put her probably above night fox yoho i, I think that she is the hottest one like, of, of all the characters, I think that, yeah, she would definitely be the uh, the best waifu out of all of them. The typing mechanic, I don't know about the typing mechanic, I have no idea. But I would say it should be probably about right, right here. Okay? Like, I think that's what would be fair, uh, in my opinion, based off of my research that I've seen so far. She would kill you? Yeah, but, like, that's not really that bad, is it? And, and so, yeah, one vi- yeah, so I would say, yeah. Vicus, the Night Fox Yoho, Black Fang, Nineveh, Azina, Sasha, and Nagi. These are the these are the top S tier waifus in the game. Uh, of all of the characters, these are the best. They are the highest quality, and I, I think that they're great, guys. I really do. I think they're absolutely fucking great. Where's the mech, please? Which other ones? Have we missed any other ones, guys? Uh, I think that we pretty much got enough of them. Yeah, look up the mechanic. I'm not going to worry about the mechanic too much. It's a boob size rating. No, no, that's not what it is at all. Like, that's not... Guys, come on. Like, that's not what it is at all. It had nothing, it had nothing to do with that. Yeah, no, it had, it had nothing to do with that, guys. It really didn't at all. Uh, Because... No, no, that's not... Guys, guys, I mean, just look at it. No, I mean, that's just... That's just that's the way that things... Just because it's the way that things turned out. It's their personality, man. Like, it's just... It's a coincidence. What's wrong with the coincidence, guys? Come on. I mean, she's literally a succubus. I mean, like, how the fuck are you not gonna rank her at the top? Yeah, come on, guys. Personality shit? No, she's- uh, This girl's awesome. Like, she's awesome. Like, definitely. Let me see. Is there any more of these? Let me just go ahead and look and make sure. I don't really think so. A lot of these are kind of, uh, just like random fucking fan art. And so it doesn't really work that well. Yeah, oh my god. Okay, uh, yeah, some of this- oh my god. <laughs> I got, like, fucking, like, results from deviant art. Oh my- there's some people that are really, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they're really, uh, 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 they've got an imagination. Yeah, they've got a great imagination. They're big fans of the game. Absolutely. So yeah, this is the official, guys, I want to say this, this is the official Lost Ark waifu tier list. Is there anybody who disagrees with this at all? Uh, I want to make sure that we, we, we cover all of our bases and we have everything completely set up. I think this is 100% fair, 200% real. Black Fang's number one, Beatrice goes to S. No, she doesn't. She is a less hot version of, of, of uh, Nineveh. Beatrice higher? Nope, 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 nope. Not gonna happen. Rate Mari? Uh, who gives a fuck about her? Who gives a fuck about her? Like, she's just, like, she's cute. Yeah, I would say she's, like, an A tier. Yeah, Mari's an A tier, exactly. Bring out the thick Punica woman? No, we're not gonna, no. There's no, no. It's the same with the ones from Yorn. Like, we're not gonna do that. It's not gonna happen. This is, this is the best list, okay? This is the best and most fair list. And I'll tell you guys, like, I've worked on this, I've thought about this for a long time, and I think this is the most accurate and most ethical list that I could possibly make. The thick girl in Yorn is awesome. Yeah, she is really cool, but, um, you know, like, she's not on the list. Let's just say that. Yeah, she's not. Are we going to do males as well? 
Um, males as well. If enough people want it, I will do it. But I'm not sure, right? Like, I, I think that the waifu tier list is what, what I really wanted to get into. I think this is the most fair uh, of all of them, right? Armin, though? Um, f I feel like uh, the best looking guy in the game. Let me think. I don't know. Like, I have to real Albion. Al that's a, that's a fucking goat. That's a goat. No, no, it's not. It's a it's a horse. It's like a unicorn. Like, what do you mean it's the hottest character in the game? That's an animal. What the hell's wrong with you? Thyrene, it's between, in my opinion, it's like Thyrene, Carmine, or, uh, fuck. Let me think of another one. Uh, Balthor? Balthor is cool. I like Balthor. Maybe Delane Armin. Yeah, Delane Armin emo phase. I like that. Thar? Thar's un uh, a, a vest. No, no, not Zyka. Definitely not Zyka. Zyka is a literal fucking demon. He's ugly as hell, but he's cool. Like he's definitely cool. He's like the kind of guy. He's like ugly as hell, but he'll never fucking cheat on you or let you down or anything. Right?